all these folk we've been talking to just here have walked some of them for three days, some of them for one month, another for two months because uh, there's no food and water and a few of the kids that uh, we've spoken to through their parents are uh, not doing very well. But the WFP here is here to try and make a difference. And what we're looking at is building up the food supplies here because people come here, many of them haven't eaten in days or weeks and some of the children we've seen are very weak. We'll be airlifting in supplies here. We're working with the local authorities here to set up the operations to register people and especially screen the very young children who need nutritional support very quickly. this child should be screened immediately into a we need the facilities to be able to treat the children that are really uh, in level three and level four of malnutrition and this is uh, why we can't wait until they reach the refugee camps uh, we have to be able to set up the the spots where they can reach the help on the way <laughs> The priority here is um, uh, to state the bleeding obvious is to get food here in the next few days. Um, these folk are very weak, they've been on the road. Next question is, well how do you make that happen? Uh, making sure you've got your logistics out of Mombasa arranged so that it can be got here. And thirdly, how do you make all that happen? Making sure that uh, every country in the international community is doing its bit by funding what the WFP is doing. We are. Uh, I think we're probably the third largest funders globally of what the WFP is doing here at the moment. Other countries need to step up to the plate as well.